Did I stay up all night watching TikTok till 5 a.m.? What? Hey guys, good afternoon. It is Tuesday afternoon. Excuse my hair. I took it out. It was like in a sleek back bun, but I took it out because that jaw was tight. I went to sleep with the bun in my head and I put my scarf on and everything, but I woke up and my neck said, Excuse me? What? What did you think you were doing? So I just took it off, but it's Tuesday morning. I have LU Praise at 3.45 today. Before then, I'm just gonna do some homework, take my vitamins, drink some water, and I'm going to eat. This week is very busy and productive, so I just wanted you guys to come alongside the week. Taking my Miel Organics Biotin pills. It says adult vitamins with biotin. I just added this to what I take. I usually just take my probiotic. Tastes bad, I just don't like taking pills. Oh. Pepe soup here. My sister made it her own style. She wasn't feeling well, so she made it. And then I have my coffee. I had to remake it because I think the creamer went bad. And then I toasted some bread. It's toasted I get your bread if you're Nigerian. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> toasted I get your bread to eat with the pepper soup. And now I'm going to go do my homework. driving in silence most times. You guys, my alarm. I... Good morning, by the way. It's Wednesday. I forgot to turn off my 6.30 alarm. And I want to sleep at like 1.30. And that alarm just woke me up. That is so annoying. And now I'm no longer sleepy. But I want to go back to sleep. Maybe I'll take a nap later. But maybe I should start my day. I'm gonna start my day. But I kind of want to lay in bed. I'm gonna start my day. Well, outside is so loud. I'm gonna start my day with my Lord and Savior. When I'm having my personal time with God, I like to start off first with journaling. I like to journal saying thank you, Lord, for different things. Just 
just gratitude, thanking him for even the simplest things, because that just puts me in the posture of, wow, like, God is so worthy of everything. He is the reason why we are all alive, why we are breathing. He's the very air that we breathe. And I also journal my feelings or maybe thoughts that I'm having, things that are on my mind. I just act like I'm writing to God and that's how I journal. And it prepares my mind before I start reading the Bible and before I pray. I am currently in the book of Matthew and I am just soaking in everything. I'm just doing a couple verses and really just sitting with it and understanding what those verses mean. Hey guys, update. It is 1.33 and I just finished washing my hair. So a lot of time has passed, but while my hair is kind of like drying before I style it, I'm just gonna start editing. Hi friends, let's talk. This is me in real life wearing a scarf and a hoodie. And it says, do love walk. Mike is 6'8". I got this from a camp when we went on the LU Priest trip. But yes, guys, it's 8.55. It's been a whole day, like a whole day. And I'm eating dinner. Rice again, rice on stew. I ate rice and masala sauce earlier with a salad. But y'all, it's been an emotionally demanding day. And I just feel like I'm not, like I'm not, um... Like, I've planned my time on how I want to do things, but it's so, like, it doesn't feel like enough time still. So I'm still trying to figure out, like, what will work best for me. After this week, though, like, I can't keep going on like this. Like, it's not sustainable. So I'm just going to revisit everything that I'm doing and um, actually be honest with myself and be like, can you actually do this? Like, do you have enough time to do all these things? Do you need to take something off? But um, the day was cool. I didn't do much today, but... It's still 8.55. I'll work for another like 35 minutes. See what I can get done. Like there's no point living in regret. If a day or something didn't go how you wanted it to go. There's no point in regretting. You can only learn from your experiences. So talking to whoever feels like beats down on themselves. When they feel like they haven't done enough. Or when they haven't accomplished their goals for the day. Or you feel like you're behind. Because I felt those ways too. And I feel those things sometimes, but I want to let you know that don't beat yourself up, don't regret, just literally move forward. You have to have a forward thinking mindset, like be reflective, learn what you can learn from past and move forward because mindset is so important. So always be reflective, don't beat up on yourself, like there's only one you, no one else is are you kidding me wait hold on are you kidding me ain't nobody else like you out here and you gonna beat up on yourself when the world sometimes wants to beat up on you don't do that you are a royal priesthood if you're a christian if you're not a christian jesus still loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you but if you're a christian you are a royal priesthood you are chosen people do you hear me do you Hear me, your identity is in Christ, so do not beat up on yourself because God is not condemning you because the Bible says, therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the spirit and not the flesh because we have Jesus, so there's no condemnation for us. So just relax. Like honestly, y'all rest in God's love. Rest in the love of the Father. Y'all be all right. We'll be all right. It's okay. Look, I'm even, I'm like encouraging myself right now. Wow, I'm talking to y'all, but I'm actually talking to me. <laughs> Honestly, when God asks you to like do something, he gets the glory. Other people benefit from it and you benefit from it as well. I'm going to end the day right here and pick this back up tomorrow. Say so Ray, I haven't really shown you guys what I've been doing, but honestly, I'm trying the best I can right now. So, bear with me. Bear with me, besties. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning, y'all. It's 11.07. Did I stay up all night watching TikTok till 5 a.m.? What? <laughs> I did. But that's okay. Like, that's okay. <laughs> no, it's really not okay, guys. Like, I I was literally glued to TikTok. What the heck? <laughs> I was literally glued to TikTok. And I was like, all right, since I'm up and I got this energy, let me edit. When I try to edit, I said, shroom. <laughs> I was gone. I was gone. Anyways, I'm about to go shower and get ready for the day. You look good, you feel good, you smell good, you feel productive, period. 
This is my OOTD. I'm not wearing these shoes. These are just my house shoes. But this is my OOTD. Homework before rehearsal. When our mind begins to overthink, who told you that thought? You can't think of a name. It's you or it's the enemy. See, the enemy wants your Job chapter 1 verse 9 thought. I'm an online student, so I gotta put that work in. Doing school from the comfort of my own home. This class is Counseling 522, which is career counseling. I have a discussion board and I have to watch a video for it. It's 35 minutes. I might just skip through it. I don't think I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Don't do that. Don't be like me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit doing that and I'm gonna spend more time on this other mm -hmm. thing. Then you might discover, hey, this other job I don't like either. Yeah, I guess it's the fear of like not having the fear of, well, if I don't like this, then what will I do then? Kind of thing. The fear of not knowing. Right. The fear of not knowing. Yeah, what's, what, happen what's the backup plan if that doesn't work out? That's, oh boy. Now you've come right down to the heart of the matter. Mm -hmm. What's the backup plan in case... We're still holding hands. We're still holding hands. Oh, I, I can, oh, put it up at a higher I angle. Can't. Okay. Oh. My water bottle. Okay. Okay. Hi, Spring. Hi. What do you want to say for the vlog? What's your encouragement? I just word? want to say that God is good and He is faithful. Amen. And if you are struggling with anything, give it to the Lord. Take it to Him in prayer. Period. Because He will always come through. Amen. Okay, He's faithful even when we aren't faithful. That is true. You know? Yeah. Wise words from Jabri Bri. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Apply them to your life. <laughs> Apply them. And that's a that's a scripture too. True. Is it? It is. Yeah. You'll yeah. be a fool to read what read the truths in the Bible and mm -hmm. not apply it to your life. Exactly. You have to. And let me just say <laughs> let me just say. I know it may be hard. Oh mm. oh my gosh. Oh was it like this the whole time? No. I didn't even notice it. Because in this season, I know a lot of you may be dealing with spiritual warfare, okay? Let me tell you the importance <laughs> <laughs> of interceding on behalf of your friends mm. and also bringing things to light. Because the enemy operates in darkness and he wants you to keep those struggles and keep those things that you are dealing with in the darkness. Mm. But he knows when you get around a body of believers and they intercede on your behalf, things change. He knows that prayer works. Mm -hmm. If the devil knows that, you need to know that prayer works. That's true. Go to that secret place and you pray and you talk to your father and watch him move on your behalf. If okay? y'all think you should get a YouTube channel, <laughs> comment down below. Yeah. You guys, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm doing a discussion board and it's 400 words. And I've never done a discussion board that's 400 words. And I'm just like, I just want to be done already. But I'm like, Lord, give me strength to do it. And I know he will. I'm almost done. But I'm just like, oh, I just want to be over. I'm tired of doing discussion. <laughs> Online grad school life, man. The regular size instead of the small size. Yeah. And for the, can I have like just less grilled onions? I don't want too much. Doesn't have a